हॅलो नमस्ते माय सेल्फ रोहिणी मिरगू टॉकिंग अबाउट फिजिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ डेल दॅट इज द डेल ऑपरेटर इन डिफरंट फॉर्म्स लर्निंग आउटकम्स ॲट द एंड ऑफ द व्हिडिओ यू विल बी एबल टू राईट द इक्वेशन्स ऑफ ग्रेडियंट डायवर्जन्स अँड कर्ल यू विल बी एबल टू आयडेंटिफाय द रिअल वर्ल्ड ॲप्लिकेशन्स ऑफ ग्रेडियंट डायवर्जन्स अँड कर्ल वॉट इज डेल ऑपरेटर द डेल इंडिकेट्स अ स्पेस वेरिएशन इट्स बेसिकली अ स्पेस वेरिएशन वेरिएशन ऑफ स्पेस अलॉंग द थ्री कॉर्डिनेट ॲक्सेस दॅट इज एक्स वाय अँड झेड डायरेक्शन डेल ऑपरेटर कॅन ऑपरेट ॲज वेल ऑन स्केलर्स ॲज वेल ॲज ऑन वेक्टर्स द ऑपरेटर इफ एट ऑल आय वॉन्ट टू रिप्रेझेंट इन द इक्वेशन फॉर्म आय कॅन रिप्रेझेंट इट लाईक डाव बाय डाव एक्स ए एक्स बार दॅट इज वेरिएशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स अलॉंग ए एक्स डायरेक्शन प्लस डाव बाय डाव वाय ए वाय बार प्लस डाव बाय डाव झेड ए झेड बार दॅट इज वेरिएशन अलॉंग द एक्स वाय अँड झेड डायरेक्शन्स नाव फर्स्ट वील गो फॉर ग्रेडियंट ग्रेडियंट द डेल ऑपरेटर ऑपरेट्स ऑन स्केलर्स अँड इन दॅट केस ऑपरेटर इज कॉल्ड ग्रेडियंट डेल ऑपरेट्स ऑन स्केलर क्वांटिटी बट रिझर्व्स इन अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी इफ आय एज्युम वी इज सम स्केलर क्वांटिटी देन डेल वी विच इज कॉल्ड एज ग्रॅड वी इज इक्वल टू डाव बाय डाव एक्स ऑफ वी ए एक्स बार प्लस डाव बाय डाव डाव वाय ऑफ वी ए वाय बार प्लस डाव बाय डाव झेड ऑफ वी इन टू ए झेड बार ॲज यू कॅन नोटिस इयर डाव बाय डाव एक्स ए एक्स डाव बाय डाव वाय ए वाय इज नथिंग बट दिस पार्ट इज नथिंग बट विच इज शोन इन ब्लॅक अँड रेड इज द डेल ऑपरेटर अँड वी इज जस्ट अटॅच विथ ईच टर्म बिकॉज इट्स अ स्केल आर क्वांटिटी दिस इज कॉल्ड ॲज ग्रॅडियंट ऑफ वी दिस इज इक्वेशन ऑफ ग्रॅडियंट ऑफ वी fine if it is gradient of v but what actually it is in real world let us try to understand its physical interpretation of gradient gradient describes the directions of maximum change in other context for example if we think f as describing some variable maybe a temperature at a point x comma y that is at a particular position then gradient gives the direction gradient is giving the direction in which the temperature is increasing most rapidly it's not mandatorily that increasing it is increasing or decreasing that is the change it is changing more rapidly so gradient gives the direction in which the variable is changing rapidly the greatest rate of change for a scalar field with respect to position is represented as a gradient in general so the meaning of gradient is greatest rate of change of a scalar field with respect to position gradient of a scalar field is all given known as directional derivative of scalar field since it is always directed along the normal direction now if i want to explain the gradient with the help of a diagram i can explain like this diagram where i assume myself that as i am at this dot and i want to move up hill or i want to move down hill so i am at this present moment at this point now i want to move in a certain direction like to gain the altitude like upward or i want i i want to lose the altitude then i need to move down so gradient tangent is representing the direction of steepest descent or ascent so the direction of steepest descent or ascent which is shown in the red line by the red line here is called as a gradient so this is the meaning of gradient in real world now let us go to the another operator which is divergence the del operates on vectors as well previous case we have seen in uh dive in gradient previous case in gradient we have seen that it operates on scalars and results in a vector but here we look for a del operator which operates on vectors it operates on vectors by two ways one is with a dot operator other is with a cross operator 
when the del operator operates with a dot the operation is called as divergence as i am operating the del on a vector let us assume the vector a bar as ax x bar ay y y bar plus az z bar so let us find out divergence of a bar that is del dot a bar so here i have put del in between a dot and this a bar which i have assumed so there is a dot product between these two as we know that the ax dot ax is 1 ax dot ay and ax dot az will result zero so self dot product is giving result with others it is giving zero so my answer of del dot a bar is dou ax by dou x plus dou ay by dou y plus dou az by dou z which is called as divergence of a bar fine this is the equation but what about its physical significance or interpretation so to understand the physical interpretation of divergence consider a water flowing through a large pipe let us assume this is a large pipe to this two small pipes are attached and a water is flowing through this pipe now this small pipes attached one of that is uh, acting as an inlet through which also water is added to this large pipe now as you can observe here i have shown with three arrows now when the water is input from this end the water level is increased like here you can see with the five arrows i tried to show so flow rate is increased so when the final flow rate is more you can observe here this is a final flow rate which is more than initial flow rate then i can say that divergence is positive similarly there can be negative divergence now here i consider that one of the outlet i have opened so that water which is flowing from here is leaking out from this as i have shown with three arrows and here as the water is leaking out only two arrows i have shown so when the final flow rate is less than the initial flow rate then i can say that divergence is negative so this divergence is negative so in general i can explain like this when there is the outward flow less than the inward flow this is negative direct divergence final flow rate is less than initial flow rate and divergence is negative which is less than zero and if the final flow rate and initial flow rate are same are equal in that case i can say it is a zero divergence if two quantities are same divergence is zero and the last case when i can see here the flow rate at the final flow rate is more than the initial flow rate divergence is considered positive so divergence is greater than zero now let us go to the last operation that is curl the del operator operates on vectors with the two ways like dot and cross that we know we have seen with the dot when it operate it acts it's it's a divergence when it operates with a cross the operator is called as a curl so this curl operation that we are going to see again as it is operating on a vector let me assume a vector a bar which is ax ax plus ay ay bar plus az az bar now del cross a bar itself is called as curl a bar which can be given as determinant of ax bar ay bar az bar all are the unit vectors then space derivative dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z then the magnitudes along the x y and z direction so these are the magnitudes respective magnitudes along with x along with y and along with z these are the magnitudes the curl is a vector operator that operates describes the infinitesimal circulation of a vector field in 3d space curl at a point in the field is represented by a vector whose length and direction is denoting the magnitude and axis of the maximum circulation so it has a it is a vector quantity which has magnitude as well as direction so here i can explain the curl by using this diagram the curl of a vector field measures the tendency of a vector field to swirl around imagine the vector field is represented by the velocity vector if the vector field swirls around then when uh, swirls around in in case if this paddle is uh, makes the this 
uh, this to spin in that case i can say that it is whirling around like we stick the paddle wheel into the water it will tend it to spin so this is a paddle wheel kept here when water flows this will spin and this spinning itself is called as a curl thus we should expect the curl as a vector function why because it has a magnitude as well as it has a direction now i can explain the same thing with this example let me assume there is a, a water and in that water i have put some disc and i put a mark on the disc maybe uh, like this uh, in this direction when the water flows the disc will rotate and it will move like this in the next place the disc will rotate this way again the next the disc will rotate this way so what it is doing it is rotating in anti clockwise direction the disc when it is rotating in anti clockwise direction that is indicating the upward direction and this upward direction is called as direction of curl and the curl direction is given by the right handed thumbs rule it is the direction of rotation and my thumb will be indicating the direction of curl now here you can explain this is circular rotation which indicates there is some curl finite curl whereas here there is no change which is zero curl here some inward motion also do not indicate it's a curl only the circular motion circular rotation indicates there is a curl let us recall the del operator on scalars and on vectors so the del operator can operate on a scalar and can operate on a vector when it operates on scalar it operates the operation is called as gradient and the result is a vector but when it operates on a vector the operation is called divergence when it is operated with a dot and result is a scalar and when it operates on a vector with a cross then the operation is called as curl and also results in a vector so this is the physical meaning of gradient divergence and curl a vector that in the given direction of a maximum rate of change of a quantity maximum rate of change of a quantity in a particular direction is gradient divergence is a scalar magnitude and it is uh, uh, indicating the sink or source so if it is sourcing it is positive divergence if it is sinking it is negative divergence otherwise it's a zero divergence and the vector when it describes the circular rotation either right hand circular or left hand circular rotation it is called as a curl for right hand rotation it is a right hand clockwise rotation is positive curl left hand clockwise rotation is negative curl and if there is no rotation in rotational there is zero curl this is the summary of the physical interpretation of the curl these are the references used for preparing this video thank you